A somber evening along the Venice canals tonight. The community remembering a woman brutally beaten and killed several weeks ago. Fox 11's Laura Diaz, she's there now live with more for us. Laura? Yes, Marley. It was it was very much Sarah Alden's dream to live in this community. Sadly, she hadn't lived here long when her life ended in a nightmarish fashion. But I can tell you this, the people here, they remembered her with such reverence. Minutes before sunset, emotional Amazing Grace played on a violin in the canals of Venice. There was music and there was candlelight. All this dedicated to a life brutally taken not far from here. Sarah Alden, a mother of two, was sexually assaulted and beaten unconscious in Venice April 6th along the Venice canals. She was taken off life support weeks later. Thursday evening, over a hundred people in the neighborhood gathered in her memory and to shine a light on violent crime. Everybody join me. Sarah. Sarah. There can be no equivocation on this point. It never should have happened. One of those demanding change was a second woman who was also brutally beaten and raped by the same alleged attacker that night. Here you see her in the hospital recovering. Anything. Now she's healed physically, but the emotional scars remain. I'm not a victim, I'm a survivor. And I feel like I need to be a voice for people, for Sarah, because she can't speak. She's, she can't speak, but I can speak for her, and I'm going to speak. Also at the vigil was the LAPD captain overseeing the investigation, whose officers worked nonstop to apprehend the suspect. He is Anthony Francisco James. For investigators, this case was deeply personal. It's nauseating. It's absolutely nauseating. Coming back here live, you can see that the lights are still on the bridge. I was told by that captain of the LAPD that both of the women were attacked just a couple hundred yards on either side of that bridge. It's a poignant reminder to people who live in this area about how very delicate life can be. Laura Diaz reporting live from Venice. Now back to the studio. What a heartfelt, emotional night. Laura, thanks so much.